OK, so we've looked at permutations. And we're now going to move on to combinations. So remember that permutations, uh, the order matters. But for combinations, the order does not matter. So let's look at an example. How many three-digit combinations are there using the numbers 0 to 9 if each digit can only appear once? Now, when we looked at this from the point of view of permutations, what we saw was that we could take, well, for the first digit, we've got the choices of 0 to 9, so there are 10 choices, OK? So there was 10 times, then as I used one digit, there would be nine choices left over. And then once I'd used those two choices, I would have eight choices left over. And this was 720. So there were 720 different arrangements that I could use. However, as we're now looking at combinations and the order no longer matters, that means that 3, 2, 5 is regarded as exactly the same as 5, 2, 3. OK? It's just that the numbers have switched order. Now, obviously, in, practical con in a practical context, if this was a password, then clearly the order does matter. But in this case, because we look at combinations, it doesn't. So what we need to think about is how many different variations are there. So we have 3, 2, 5. We've got 5, 2, 3. OK, let's uh, think of it straight from 3, 2, 5. So we'd have 3, 5, 2. We would have 5, 2, 3, or 5, 3, 2, or 2, um, 3, 5, or 2, 5, 3. So these are all the different um, arrangements that I could have of those three numbers. So there are six. And that makes sense because you had three choices for the first number, three, five, or two. Then we would have had two choices. Then we would have had one choice. So six is coming directly from three times two times one. Or three factorial. So for each of the three digits that we have, so for each of the three digits, be it um, 1, 2, 3, or 9, 7, 2, or whatever, for each of them, there are six variations um, that um, are repetitions. So we have 720, and we need to divide that by 6. OK, so 720 divided by 6 is 120. And so in actual fact, there are 120 three-digit combinations that use the number 0 to 9 if each digit can only appear once. OK, so that is how this problem changes subtly. And we're going to work with this again in the next video.